Whew. That was more fun than I anticipated, but now I'm tired. Time for a nice, relaxing nap. Mm -hmm. Now that's strange. I never get direct visitors here. Maybe it's some vermin trying to force its way in. Hold on. Let me get my bashing stick and go see what it is. All right, you nasty vermin. Prepare for the beating of your li Oh my god, Traveler. How did you even get here? And Oh my- Look at all these cuts. You must have been mauled by something rather mean. I need to get you to a bed this instant. What? Of course I can carry you. You have to be at least as strong to live in this forest anyway. Now, come on, no struggling. You'll just open up your wounds further. Now then, I have a lot of questions for you, but first we have to at least close these up. Let me just clean these up first. Hold on while I get a bucket of water. Jeez, you really had me worried there. Hey, 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 don't move yet. I know it hurts. But we have to wash it first before we do anything. Does it hurt to speak? Well then, why don't you answer a few of my questions then? What are you doing back here? I told you this place was cursed, and you were lucky I was here to help the first time. Not to mention you shouldn't have been able to find this place on your own anyway. It took me days to find this place on my own. Hmm? Oh, those? But what about my- <sighs> Fine. I'll tell you about it, but you have to answer my questions after, and no more stalling, got it? <laughs> I'm honestly surprised you didn't notice before, but I have a hobby making marionettes. I have quite the collection upstairs if you want to see them after you recover. In fact, I have one here now. Cute, right? Honestly, there's a reason not many people come to my abode to stay the night. A lot of them get creeped out by all the dolls and often leave during the night. Poor things think they could get back to the outside on their own without me. <laughs> After you left, I thought about what you said before, about experiencing the outside again. I can't rejoin society or anything, but I figured I could at least interact with them. Just now, I just got back from doing a little puppet show with my dolls. Hi kids, I'm Mary, Mary the Marionette. Did you know that reading is fundamental? <laughs> oh, they love that one. Alright, I'm done cleaning the wounds, so now it's time to start stitching up these cuts. Hey now, I'll have you know I'm an expert on sewing. Don't you see these beautiful dresses my dolls wear? That shouldn't be that much different, right? Don't worry, you'll get used to the pain. Ah, uh, and there we are. Ah, uh, no, no getting out of bed just yet. The stitches are still fresh, and I don't know if they're tight enough, but now that you're done crying out in pain, we can finally get to my question. So, do you have an answer to my earlier question? You're saying that something showed you where to go? That's impossible. You would have to be able to see through the forest's illusion. Could it... could it be you have the same gift as me? I'm not sure what to feel about that. Uh, on one hand, I'm glad I'm not alone with this power, but on the other, I'll probably miss being left alone. That is, if you decide to come back again, but I highly doubt you will after this debacle. What attacked you, anyway? Couldn't see it. Well... There are plenty of spirits in this forest. It was probably one of those. They're usually rather docile, though. I wonder what agitated them. Nah, no use dwelling on it, though. At least you're alive. Are you hungry? They say when you're healing, your body takes up more energy due to the body going into adrenaline mode. Here, I have some... What do you people call it? Uh, chicken noodle soup. That's what it is. To help your recovery. Yes. You'd be right, there are no chickens in this forest. I bought it from the town with the money I made from my puppet shows. I do have to thank you. If you hadn't said all that about going back, I may never have gathered the courage or the motivation to go out and express myself. And I'm sorry I treated you so harshly about it at the time. I have experienced delicacies and activities that have really opened my eyes. Really? Thank you. However, you still haven't answered my most pressing question. Why did you come back? You were near death last time. Did you really want to go through that again? So why would you come back to this cursed forest knowing that your chances of surviving would be even lower than before? <laughs> were you really that desperate for my mushrooms? <laughs> oh. Y you were worried about me? Why? I, I told you I could take care of myself, didn't I? I've lived here for decades and survived on the bare minimum. You have nothing to worry about. Ah. 
He wanted to check on my social life. Well, as you may have heard, I've been going out to the town quite often, so I believe I'm good on that front too. Uh, no, no, I don't guess I have any friends per se. What about it? I, I wouldn't say I'm lonely. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe a little, but what are you getting at? Well, of course I want some companionship, but who would... Oh. Oh. I, I think I see now. Listen. I appreciate what you're trying to do, and I think I share your feelings, but I already told you I'm not leaving this forest no matter what you say, even if I could stay with you. If you really want that with me, huh? How about, uh, staying here? I know it would be a big change from where you come from, but I promise I'll teach you how to live here, and I'll protect you from harm. We can go to the town, and have the best food in the world, and interact with the townsfolk together. I understand if you can't do that. We all have our lives to live, but please, think about it. I haven't enjoyed someone's company like I have yours, maybe ever. I'm glad you came back here, even if you did get hurt, because these moments where I get to talk to you end up being my fondest memories. So can you do that? Can you make me happy by staying with me and leaving your old life behind? <laughs> that was the plan. You really want to stay here despite the troubles it would cause? <laughs> you, you have no idea how happy you've made me in the short time that we've known each other. <laughs> oh, I, I love you. <laughs> well, um... It's, it's getting late, isn't it? I, uh, I already have a blanket over you, but tonight looks to be a cold one, doesn't it? And, uh, you seem to be shivering. Here, let me help. <laughs> what am I doing? Well, isn't this what couples do when they're cold? They get really close and cuddle up to each other? Besides, doesn't my body heat feel nice? <laughs> well, good night, traveler. Or should I say... Honey. 